Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. February 28th was a very pleasant day in the eastern half of the United States, with temperatures all the way up into the 70s in Michigan and Wisconsin. Someone who tweets under the handle Extreme Temps and has me blocked said, Together with the Dust Bowl and the March 1907 event, it's the most extreme event in U.S. climatic history. And someone else tweeted, Meanwhile, outside the loony denier brain, it's 70 degrees in a Michigan winter for only the fourth time in a century. So let's take a look at the actual data for Michigan. This graph shows the average daily maximum temperature in Michigan for every day since 1887. This graph is very useful because for each of the 365 days of the year, you can see which year had the highest temperature and which year had the lowest temperature. The red line in this graph shows average daily maximum temperatures in Michigan for every day this year. Three days in Michigan so far this year have recorded record average daily maximum temperatures, including February 28th, you can see right here. The record on February 28th was much less remarkable than the record on March 8th, 2000. On March 8th in the year 2000, Michigan recorded temperatures over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That was much more extreme than the February 28th temperatures of this year and was only a little over a week later. But the most extreme year in Michigan by far was 1936. On July 14, 1936, much of the upper Midwest was over 110 degrees Fahrenheit. In Detroit, someone was dying from the heat at a rate of one every 10 minutes. The chief medical examiner in Detroit said, I've never seen anything like it in my 16 years of experience here. In 36 hours, he supervised 150 autopsies. That sounds quite a bit more extreme than a pleasant February day in 2024. This graph shows out of the 365 days a year, the number of record hot days in Michigan for each year. The year with the most hottest days was 1895. During the year 1895, there were 15 record hot days in Michigan. Beginning in May 1895, Michigan had a series of record heat waves which lasted throughout the year. The heat wave and drought were global and continued for several years, killing tens of millions of people around the world. 1896 was probably the worst year for tornadoes in U.S. history. I could write an entire encyclopedia of bad weather which occurred around the world during the years 1895 and 1896, but that would be the topic of a different project. I'm guessing that nobody died from the heat in Michigan on February 28th of 2024. But climate experts say it was the most extreme event in U.S. climatic history. And what about the fires in Texas? That sounds pretty extreme. One of the largest forest fires in U.S. history occurred on February 16th and 17th of 1898, when about 3 million acres of forests in the Carolinas burned in just over 24 hours. If that happened now, climate academics would say they were 100% certain it was due to the burning of fossil fuels. It's almost like there's some sort of competition for people to make up the most ridiculous claims about the climate. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on this scam for more than 16 years. You can visit Toto and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.